The FAA, which regulates the airline industry in the United States, acted swiftly to improve safety. A new kind of transponder was required for smaller planes, the kind that might have helped air traffic controllers recognize that the private aircraft posed a danger. If you had an aircraft that flew under a controlled airspace, you would have a transponder and you would be required to have altitude encoding or reporting. That way it would be no mistake as to whether you had an intruder or not. A new system called Mode C Intruder was also developed to warn air traffic controllers. Mode C Intruder is an automated program that is now incorporated in all our major radar facilities that if an aircraft should inadvertently intrude, the controller will now be given a visual and an oral alert, thus giving him time to provide a timely warning to the pilot. Seat belts, engine ignition. Even for the most diligent pilot, the old strategy of see and avoid had serious limitations. Those limitations would be addressed with the most important innovation of all. The major technological innovation that came out of the Cerritos mid-air was the congressional mandate that all air carrier aircraft operating within the United States would be outfitted with TCAS, Traffic Collision and Avoidance System. John Andrews worked on the team that developed TCAS. The TCAS collision avoidance system, which was under development, uh, quite possibly could have prevented this accident. Uh, TCAS gives the pilot a traffic advisory at 45 seconds before the potential collision. Hey, Maria. Everything OK back there? And then at approximately 25 seconds or so before the potential collision, a resolution advisory is given to actually tell the pilots to climb or descend to avoid the altitude of the other aircraft. See. 